hello students good day and welcome back to this channel once again in today's video we are going to continue our lesson on linear inequalities we are going to solve word problems involving linear inequalities in one variable now let's take our first example one fourth of a number is added to one fifth of the same number is less than or equal to 18. find the range of values of the number so we have one fourth of a number and then that is added to one fifth of the same number and the result is less than or equal to 18. so we are asked to find the range of values of the number now since we don't know the number we are talking about we are going to represent that number with a variable so let the number let the number be x so if the number is x then we are saying that one fourth of a number so one fourth of x is added to one fifth of the same number and the result is less than or equal to 18. we are going to find the range of values of the number so this is our linear inequality we can move on to solve for x now we have two fractions we have 1 over 4 times x and then 1 over 5 times x so to do away with the fractions we are going to multiply each term of the linear inequality by the lcm between 4 and 5 so the lcm between 4 and 5 is 20 so we multiply each term by 20 we have 20 times 1 over 4 x plus 20 times 1 over 5 x is less than or equal to 18 times 20. now 4 goes here once into 20 5 times so we have 5 times x plus 5 goes here once into 20 4 times we have plus 4x is less than or equal to 18 times 20 is 360. We are going to add like things. So 5x plus 4x is 9x. It's less than or equal to 360. We divide through by 9. And then we have x is less than or equal to 40. Therefore, the number... is less than or equal to 40 that is the range of values of the number let's move on and solve question number two so let's solve question two four is added to three times a certain number the result is not more than when twice that number is added to 10 find the range of values of the number once again since we don't know the number we are going to represent that number with the variable x so let the number be x now we are told that 4 is added to 3 times a certain number so 4 is added to 3 times a certain number the number is x the result is not more than now this is the result after adding 4 to 3 times a certain number this is the result that we have now we have been told that the result is not more than so not more than means that for instance if you have the expression kofi is not more than 20 years what this primarily means is that Kofi is 20 years or less. So it's not more than means that we have less than or equal to when twice that number is added to 10. So when twice that number is added to 10. So this is the linear inequality. Now we can solve for x. So we are going to transpose 2x to the left hand side. We have 3x 
minus 2x is less than or equal to 10 minus 4. So this becomes x is less than or equal to 6. Therefore, the number should be less than or equal to 6. Let's move on to the next question. So for question 3, Peter scored 78 on his mid-semester examination in mathematics. If he is to get a grade A, the average of his mid-semester and final examination must be between 80 and 88 inclusively. In what range must his final examination score lie to get a grade A? Now we don't know the final examination score Peter had. So let the final examination score let the final examination score be x. And from the question we are told that he scored 78 on his mid semester exams. So mid semester exams Miss semester examination score is 78. If he is to get a grade A, the average of his mid semester and final examination must be between 80 and 88 inclusively. So the average of his mid semester score and the final examination score must be between 80 and 88 inclusively. So the average of the two scores is going to be 78 plus x over 2. This is going to be the average score. And we are told that it should be between 80 and 88 inclusively. So we have 80 is less than or equal to 78 plus x over 2 is less than or equal to 88. In what range must his final examination score lie to get a grade A? So we are going to solve for X. That will give us an indication of where his final examination score must lie in order that he can get a grade A. Now because we have two inequality signs, we are going to find the set of values of X that will satisfy 80 is less than or equal to 78 plus x over 2 and then 78 plus x over 2 is less than or equal to 88 so we are going to do that simultaneously so for the first one we have 80 is less than or equal to 78 plus x over 2 we multiply each term of the inequality by 2 we have 2 times 80 gives 160. It's less than or equal to 2 cancels out 2. We are left with 78 plus x. We transpose 78 to the left hand side. 160 minus 78 is less than or equal to x. We have x is greater or equal to 82. Now for the second one, we have 78 plus x over 2. Is less than or equal to 88 this becomes 78 plus x is less than or equal to 2 times 88 gives 176 and then we have x is less than or equal to 176 minus 78 that gives x is less than or equal to 98 now we are going to combine the two solutions so we are going to have 82 is less than or equal to x is less than or equal to 98 so this is our solution therefore Peter must score 
Peter must score between 82 and 98 inclusively in his final examination to get an A. So that's it for today's video. Thanks for watching and see you in my next video. Bye-bye.